figured we better show you a typical classroom at the U of C. So class sizes really vary. Um, for me being in history, uh, you start out in like your first year and you might have 100 or so folks in your class, but as you move up in the years, class sizes get smaller. So I had one class this year where I only had six people in it, and it was really nice to get to know the professors and the other students. We really do get a lot of that one-on-one -on -one attention, and most of the classrooms here at U of C are really nicely updated, comfy seats. Um, and really um, technologically enabled as well. So you can always plug your laptop in at your desk. And there's some other cool tech features as well in most of the classes. Definitely helpful. Uh, as a science student, some of my classes were a little bit bigger in my first year. Something like introductory biology can get up to 400 students. Uh, that being said, I definitely had some first year classes that were as small as 100 as well. And then definitely in my third year, they're getting even smaller than that. Um, so you don't have to worry about all of your classes being huge. Uh, there's definitely lots of ways your professors like to help out with the large class sizes too. Uh, so all of your professors will wear a microphone, so no matter where you're sitting in the classroom, you can hear them. Uh, if you guys use your 3D screen and kind of flip around to the front here, you can see there's a big wide screen. Uh, it'll be split up into three, so your professors can put their PowerPoints up there. They can also use a program called Top Hat. Uh, basically that's you go in on your phone, log in, and you get to put in an answer to a question and the professors can kind of see where everyone in the class is sitting at and if they need to work on a concept more. There's also a really cool thing over here. You can also see if you spin your camera around. Uh, it looks kind of like Wally. -E. It's called a document <laughs> camera. Uh, and those are super helpful as well if you have some professors that are a little more old school and they prefer to do their notes by hand rather than using a PowerPoint style. Uh, they can put their paper under there and they can write on it by hand and then it'll be projected up onto the screen so all of the students can see that as well. So no matter where you're sitting, you definitely don't have to worry about not being able to see the whiteboard. And then all of your classes will be split into three different components as well. So you'll have your lecture, your lab, and your tutorial. Uh, so even if your lecture is a little bit bigger, that's where your professor delivers your content to you. Uh, but then when you get into your labs and tutorials, you're broken down into 15 to 25 students, uh, and you're put one-on-one -on -one with the TA. So that's kind of a chance for you to get a lot more help, um, as well as speak to someone who's got experience in the class that you're currently in. Totally. In history, we don't have labs, but we do kind of lectures and seminars, or you may have a class that's just super lecture heavy, but not a lot of experience have experiments happening in history. <laughs> that being said, if you don't have labs and tutorials, all of your professors and TAs will have office hours as well. So definitely time set aside every week where you're welcome to go in and get some help if you need it. Totally. Profs here are very, very accessible and they're really easy to talk to, so I super recommend to get the most out of your class. Go and chat with them, uh, get to know them, and, uh, and ask for some help or some feedback on current assignments. 